It's a new year and a new chance for you to make a fresh start with your compliance. Or we're going to be bringing you a daily tip, strategy, or idea that you can use to improve your program. Here's your host, Tom Fox, the Compliance Evangelist. Day 14, Podcasting for Compliance Training and Communication. If there is one truism from the practices of law which translates to the practice of compliance, it is that you are only limited by your imagination. This holds true in the 360-degree realm of compliance communication, as communication obviously comes in many forms. Many compliance practitioners will remember the 2012 Morgan Stanley Declination. In the first declination made public, the DOJ recognized Morgan Stanley for emailing out 35 compliance reminders to Garth Peterson over seven years. Think about the power of 360 degrees of communication in the context of these compliance reminders. Now imagine the power of short ethics and compliance video training clips going out over the same period of time and the effect it would have on your employees and the regulators. So what are some of these types of uh, strategies you can use? Well, uh, the first one is podcast storytelling. Why not tell the story of compliance through a podcast? I call it podcast storytelling. It can be a powerful tool. Each podcast series is a five-part series and constitutes one story arc. The podcasts are about 10 to 15 minutes in length. The podcast storytelling series can be a variety of interviews led by a noted podcast host, such as the Voice of Compliance, yourself as a chief compliance officer, or really anyone in your organization. It can be an interview with one or more people, or it can be a solo podcast. Accompanying each podcast would be approximately 700 words of text. While there would be a fully integrated storyline, each podcast and accompanying text is a standalone compliance training and communications, which could be used by anyone at your organization. The podcast could be pushed out internally as well as via your organization's social media channels. There is a full panoply of podcast websites available, iTunes, Spotify, Google Pods, or Amazon. At the end of the series, the text forms the basis of a more detailed white paper. This process would create 11 different deliverables for your marketing efforts, including five podcasts, five blog posts, and a consolidated white paper. From each podcast, you can either create multiple short audio clips or other forms of social media, media sharing materials with key quotes and lessons learned, which you could then create as podcast cover art. A series such as this allows your organization not only to tell a more a f- story more effectively, but reach a larger audience than in other formats, live, in-person, audio, video, etc. Yet there's another reason why you should consider this type of approach for compliance training and communications. It will provide you the equivalent of market research and feedback. The number of listeners and downloads will give you a reliable source of data that you can use in other communications and training. What about compliance department branded podcast? How about a fully produced branded podcast series for your internal compliance function? It could be two 30-minute episodes per month with guests selected by your compliance team. This format allows your corporate compliance function to tell the story of its greatest asset, its people, through interviews. Can't get out of the country to travel? Still working remotely? Your branded podcast will give you a way to reach your employees as we continue to struggle through the COVID-19 variants. You can use the branded podcast to tell the story of compliance success in your organization. You could include other departments to share their successes too. As with the podcast storytelling series, it can be done in a collaborative manner working with your comms team. Another possibility is the compliance news of the day. Want to make some short, snappy compliance communications? Well, that's called the compliance news of the day. Have a daily curated news show of three to four compliance stories with a short summary of each story and how it relates to the compliance perspective of your organization. Make it fun so your employees want to check in daily. When the DOJ comes knocking and asks how often you send out compliance communications, you can point to your compliance news of the day as a great starting point. As a compliance practitioner, you should strive to bring more storytelling into your compliance messaging, training, and communications. If you put the employees in the shoes of the person they're watching, they will remember it because they will see how it applies to their lives. 
Such training and communication experiences will last much longer than if you drone over a written policy or show a PowerPoint. Mark Havner has called this expanding your classroom. Ronnie Feldman calls this bringing memorable storytelling to your compliance communications and training. Since you are only limited by your imagination and in compliance, why not use some of that imagination to be creative in your compliance training and communications? Before we get to today's three key takeaways, a quick word from our sponsor. So what are today's three key takeaways? Number one, use storytelling to tell longer, more involved stories about compliance. Two, you can use Compliance Department branded podcasts to have ongoing communications about compliance. And three, a daily compliance news show will drive engagement. If you'd like information on any of the topics from this podcast series, please check out the Compliance Handbook 2nd Edition available at LexisNexis.com slash Fox. This is Tom Fox again. Thank you for listening to this episode of 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program. I hope you will join me for the entire month of January where I take a look at some of the significant changes in compliance and FCPA enforcement. Thirty-one days to a more effective compliance program is a part of the Compliance Podcast Network.